Hello guys, today just a very quick video as I got a new internet, the Fiber Optic One from Vodafone and uh, my goal was to actually use my own PFSense router without any need of using the supplied uh, Vodafone device. Um, so I'm going to show you quickly how that can be set up as just a few few clicks here and there and should be up and running. So as you can see, um, my one interface is currently set to manual. There is no IP address assigned to it. Um, so it's just unconfigured. So if you have it configured with any, like, um, you know, the HTTP or static IP um, address, then doesn't really matter. Mine is set to none. So first, what we have to do, we have to set uh, VLAN 210. So we're going to go to assignment um, and then we have VLANs. So we're going to add VLAN number 10 and we're going to use the interface that the uh, internet cable from uh, internet provider is plugged into at your router. So in my case, it's the uh, XN0 here. And then we're going to give it number 10. You're not going to change priority. We're going to name it and I call it the Vodafone here. So save that quick and easy. If we're going to go back to stats, um, nothing changed and that's uh, expected. So again, interfaces, assignment. And now uh, for my one interface, I can choose what we've just created. So the VLAN 10 and then I'm going to save it. And anyway, if we're going to come back to here, um, nothing changed and that's still OK. So now we're going to click on the one interface here. And now we're going to choose PPPOE uh, connection type. Uh, we're not going to change anything in here, but we're going to supply username and password. In my case, just because I use uh, Vodafone over Syro, um, these credentials are as follows. Um, these are not correct. I'm just showing you as an example. So it's uh, your serial number of your modem router that you've got from, in my case, from Vodafone at, and that doesn't change. So only this first part will change. Password is always the same, uh, broadband. So I'm just going to copy that and change it slightly. So we're going to copy that in here. And as I'm just uh, lazy, I'm just going to copy a password as well. All small letters. Uh, didn't try anything else, really. And then I'm going to correct this and going to save it. And of course, we have standard message to apply changes. That would take a few seconds as well. And it's done. And now when we go back to uh, the main page, you can see that one interface is up 10 seconds. And I've got uh, some IP address assigned from Vodafone over Syro. So guys, that's how easy it is to swap your internet provider router with your own, you know, whatever router you have. The only what you what you need is these two values. You can spoof MAC address, but I haven't. And that's how you do it. So I hope uh, that will help someone to get this up and running quickly and easily. Thank you.